Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's summer again. It's gonna be freezing cold tomorrow. Freezing cold, but it is glorious outside right now. I'm just sitting in the sun, watching the dogs, enjoying this last reprieve. It is, it's Halloween you guys, it's Halloween. And we told the girls, like some of our friends go out still, even though they're bigger, like some of the girls' friends, even though they're older, and so we told them, like, if you guys want to go out for Halloween, you can go out for Halloween. I even said, like, I will, we'll drive you, but we're not going to go walking around on Halloween because we're old now. Like, it's finally time <laughs> for us to have a rest from that. So we told the girls, if you want to go out for Halloween, you're responsible for figuring out what you want to be. We'll help you get, like, a costume together, but you got to figure it all out. And you know what they said? They said, we're just going to buy some candy and watch movies. <laughs> I was like... Good call, <laughs> which is what I've always liked doing on Halloween. But that makes me curious, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Did you dress up? Did you go out? Did you give out candy? We live in the country, it'll probably be hard to give out candy. What did you do? Tell me what you, in the comments below, what you did for Halloween this year. All right, let's go in. I wanted to give you guys an update on my spirulina journey. If you guys don't know what that is, then you have missed a lot of videos. It's a blue-green algae supplement that I've been taking. I just take it for health because it's got a lot of minerals in it, stuff that's really hard to get out of our food right now, and I find it really helps me, but I'm gonna give you an update. So this is my spirulina, and I took about a month worth of it, maybe even just two weeks. There's still a lot in there. So like I said, it's a blue-green algae. And it has all the vitamins and all the minerals in it. And when you get older, it's harder for your body to absorb vitamins and minerals. But not only that, our food supply is so bad right now that it's hard to even just get that stuff. Get the vitamins and the minerals that we need. Anyways, I started taking it and I love it. Side effects of it for me are that it makes me not sleep deep. I still sleep really well, but I don't sleep deep. And I need that sleep because sleep is what helps you never get sick. Sleep is what helps you... Um, stay young and stay healthy so I needed that sleep so I hated that but it wasn't it wasn't awful if it was really awful I wouldn't have taken it um, so that was really my only bad thing that happened to me when I took it but the good things about it it made me it really worked on my blood sugar and made me never crave sugar at all like I didn't care if I ever ate sugar when I took that stuff but it did make me crave like vegetables yeah it made me crave vegetables so anyways, I stopped taking it about two weeks ago or maybe a month ago, I don't know, a while ago I stopped taking it. Probably a month ago I stopped taking it just so that my body could have a rest. I know that I will take it again. But since I stopped taking it, I still don't crave sugar. In fact, so I went to the store yesterday and I asked them to get me some ice cream because I love ice cream. And they didn't have the brand, they didn't have the flavor that I like. And because they didn't have the flavor that I like, I didn't get any. Like, never before in my life have I ever turned down ice cream. Like, I just, I don't crave it. I don't need it. I don't, like, it's just the weirdest thing. It's like this permanent fix on my blood sugar. So, anyway, I love it still. I'm going to take it again as soon as I, like, start craving sugar or anything like that. But I love that stuff. Like, still love it a million percent. Also, these are Gabby's certificates. Remember when I told you that she made the honor roll? Well, she not only made the honor roll, but she got a certificate of achievement in English, a uh, certificate of excellence in English. This one is actually for the uh, honor roll. And then she got this achievement war award as well for achievement in English. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing though? I want to say, see, homeschool works, you guys. But the truth is that you're smart, you're book smart, or you're not book smart. And if you are book smart, that's great. You're a good candidate for school. If you're not book smart, you're smart in other ways. You're smart in other areas. So... Gabby was smart no matter if she went to school or no matter if she was homeschooled. And the real truth is you should go out there in the world and find out what you're good at. Like it doesn't matter if it's academics, it matters what if you know what you're good at. Like be good at what you're good at. That's all that you're supposed to do in this life. Find what you're good at and do that because that's how you'll be successful. Hi guys, today is the 31st of October and that means it's Halloween and I went to the store and I got some of our favorite treats. I got some box of chips, chocolate, kids candy, and Twizzlers. So, what are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, so how many kids do you think we're going to get? Sophie? Zero. No, we're going to get four. We're going to get four. you. We're going to get you. We're going to get me. We're going to get Laura. And we're going to get the horses. 
So That's why four. I bought Twizzlers. So not So, four. yeah, could be six to ten grown-up kids. What about the goats? Six to ten grown-up kids, and maybe the goats, who knows? Maybe they'll like Twizzlers too, the I don't goats. know. The goats. Do they like nibs is my who? question. Goats. Oh, goats. Do they like nibs? <laughs> Those are like goats. Do they like nibs, Gabby? Does your does Storm like nibs? Twizzlers, no. But what about nibs? Twizzler nibs, no. Oh. So what is he gonna eat? Doesn't like sour. Very important. Put Twizzlers. In Doesn't like anything. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna try and give them one maybe and see if they like it. They're peanut free, so hopefully they're not allergic to peanuts. Oh, they're peanut free though, so that's good. He likes yeah. So this thing is nibs and cherries. Twizzlers. So and it's red cherry. That's my favorite. Cantaloupe. But I don't like the reason. Trouble on the day by day farm. Well, do you have a dad? Where is she all the way in the other end? So, little bear, little bear. Oh, you can't fit in there? Here, let me go. You guys, because if you go in there, she's just gonna go further back and it gets smaller. All right, so do you guys see a little bear is in there? And then also little, what's that one's name again? Waffles. Waffles is over here and she's supposed to be in there. Waffles is on this side of the fence. Bear is on this side. I think the turkeys are being too rough with her. With the duck, so we're gonna make a big change. Like, I'm sure I could fit in here. I'm not too fat. Holy heck, man. You're gonna make her go farther. Yeah, she went too far back. Sophie's idea is to throw stuff and make her come this way. And it's kind of working. Oh, bro, that's not gonna help. There we go. Get a net, get a net or something. Cause she's trying to go through the fence. So the white duck is still in that shelter. They told me to move away so that when they, because she, when she sees me, she won't come. So they think they're gonna catch her. I don't know. Without. Well, cause she's easy to catch, she's slow. So I think the problem is that our turkeys are too big, too powerful. They're in too small of a space, even though they have lots of room outside. The ducks have always stayed on their own, so we're gonna move them and let them have their own space so that they can thrive instead of just survive. Did you catch her? Did it work? No, I need more stuff. <laughs> I think we just need a net. It's working. Sam's over there. Oh, we got her. Okay. All right, I'll come and help. Okay. All right, make sure she doesn't go back. Yeah. All right. I don't want to walk through these plants. Okay, walk through the plants. Come on. She can't see me. She's blind. <laughs> she's, she's making a run for it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Stop complaining. Don't, she's trying to get through the fence. I hate when they do that. There we go. Poor girl. What a poor girl. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Bear. Don't worry. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix you. Oh, she, now we just need to catch that little she's stinker. She's chunky. Uh-oh, that one's freaking out now. <laughs> Look how big my turkey is, you guys. Isn't he huge? And he's getting so pretty. Like that is a huge turkey. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, I want more turkeys. We're just gonna move the ducks into this area. We're just getting them food and water. And so just going to get the other ducks. That's the thing when you have animals, they can all survive together, but they can't always thrive together. And that's what's so important is that making sure like that you notice when somebody's struggling. That little duck bear though, she always makes it well known to us when she's struggling. She always does something crazy. Did you get them? Huh? Did you get them? Yeah. Yay. If they were to get attacked, waffles would get killed first? Yeah. Why? Bear, then Toad. Toad knows how to run and hide. Waffles stands there. <laughs> Wants to identify oh, as magic. Oh my gosh. Oh, he was getting touched by the guineas. Ah, uh, it's the guineas that are being rough. Yeah. Yeah. She is absolutely so pretty. I love her. She's so tiny too. I know. <laughs> Look at she's swimming. So we need two more buckets of water. I thought you were gonna say And that. I need so the I bag like, of food. Yeah. yeah, we do. We do need two more ducks. Yeah. I swear, the chickens are the hardest thing. Wouldn't be a farm if you didn't have problems every single week at least. So now we have the area where I was gonna put all the baby chickens is now taken over by the ducks. And I wanna keep it that way because I want the ducks to like be good. So now 
I have 10 chickens. I don't know where I'm gonna put them this winter. You come from? Until the kids come out and give the horses some Halloween. Are we gonna do Halloween treats for the horses? Yeah. All right, all right. So I came in the truck to get the goat food. Sam just picked up goat food for me and chicken food for me. And look what I found, you guys. 50, wait, the camera is like not focusing good. 50 chocolate bars over there, 50. Hidden behind Sam's seat. Come on, you're not going for a drive. You wanna go for a drive? She's like, it's Halloween. We gotta go out trick or treating, Laura. Nope, we got our own candy. Come on, we should've got some treats for you guys. Isn't she so cute though? Like she is so cute. I don't love, one of the problems, I told you guys this before, like one of the problems about for me getting a Yorkie was that I don't really love the look of them. I don't love that they're all the same color, mostly all the same color. And some of them are like not very cute. Well, I got lucky. Actually, I picked her specifically. I knew what I wanted and I looked for a long time before I... Come on, out. Come on let's go out of the truck. I actually feel tired today. Yesterday and today, I just feel tired. Every once in a while, my body will just have like a couple tired days and it revs me up for the next few weeks and few months. And it took a long time for me to learn that it's okay to be tired sometimes and it's okay to rest. So I'm a lot better at it now. But little miss lady, she wants to ride. Why does it look like your neck is wet? Hey? Eh? Oh, I guess it's not. Hi. Happy Halloween. We got some treats for you. This is mine. <laughs> She's like, let me have that sucker. <laughs> I swear. I was just watching them. I swear they heard Sam. Burger treats. Gabby, open the bag of treats. All right. So who yeah. thinks Stormy Boy is going to have a, a do treat? You want nibs or do you want twisters? Or what are they called? I love Twizzlers. licorice. Twizzlers. 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 Lady's back there and Penny's back there. She's looking. She's like, oh, is that for me? Gonna Penny's going to eat it for sure. All right. Oh, Put your guesses yeah. now. I say Lady's going to, Storm's not. I say Lady's not going to. Okay. I know, I love licorice. Mom. Mom. Just a sec. <laughs> Stormy says no. Nothing she doesn't want nothing. Lady says, give it to me. Nope. nope. Lady doesn't like it. Give it to Penny. It's the same thing. Penny, or Lady actually is sometimes picky. No, She's nibs are picky. different. Are nibs different? All right. She won't take it because it's from you. <laughs> if she will. Oh, oh give it to me. Oh, give it to me. Is give me one, Sam. There's a nib. Here we are. All right, a little one. Here you go, baby. See, she's picky about who, who she takes treats from. I know this one likes them. I don't know about that one. All right, we know Willow will eat anything. Willow yep, is done. A nib. A nib. Oh, and she oh, took it from you. Look at that. I have maybe, a theory about minis. Maybe look, you your kick. horse is coming over to you now, Sophie. Maybe you won't kick me now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I do not know why this horse hates Sam. Well, you got okay, give me an give actual me piece of licorice for my horse because she just got a tiny little thing. She got the big one. Did you give it to her? Yes. And she took it? Yes. Oh, Penny! Gracie. Yeah, poor Gracie won't come because there's too many mean, too many bosses for her. But Lady tried a piece of licorice and she spit it out. Come here, princess. She loves it. I saw a comment today on Facebook where someone said like you shouldn't give Penny treats when you're riding because it's just going to make her stop oh every few minutes and demand a treat I and ate he ate it. Licorice. Oh, he's eating it. He's like, I'm left out. I'm going to eat one now. Okay, somebody's got to go in and give Gracie one because it's Halloween. I volunteer my life. Anyways, so the truth is, positive reinforcement training. You like me. Why are you? Positive reinforcement training. If you do it the way you're supposed to do it, horses don't get okay. like that. They understand the rules. And Penny, it's been like two years since I started training her like that, and she doesn't stop on the trail and demand treats. You don't like it. I've tried twice. She's like, but come on, please. I already. You want some of my hands? <laughs> Did Gracie eat it? No. Oh, man. You guys are no fun. Let's see if they'll eat again. 
All right, Stormy Boy, will you eat it again? One last time. We typically don't give our horses treats like these very often, once a year. Nope, <laughs> he spit it out. Oh, no, she's so cute. I did not do anything. Oh, she's so cute. You guys, she is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. All right, we're going in to watch the, what movie are we watching, Gabby? Gabby says there's a brand new. Halloween with, movie? Yeah, last year. That's old, that's last year's. Yeah, I didn't see it. I don't remember seeing the yeah. witches. Watch it with Brooklyn and Jacob. Yes, that's what Gabby says. I don't remember it at all. Anyway, we're gonna go in. We're gonna eat all of our candy, not all of our candy. You guys are staying here, you get to eat hay. <laughs> They're all like, really? Sam says he bought an extra box of chocolates just in case we don't share with him. Go grab it. We're splitting it all. No, honestly, the guy each. The guy has a basket of chocolate beside his chair at any given moment and he doesn't ever share. Well he sometimes shares. But you look over and he's chewing away and you're like, what are you eating? And he's like, oh I just it's biting my tongue. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of today's video. Tomorrow I want to have energy. We have big plans for Saturday. I hope you get lots of candy and I hope you eat lots of candy. Because if there's one day of the year you can eat candy, it's today. Don't you know that you're beautiful?